With over 300 sessions at Next 2023, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Optimize Your Google Cloud Costs with proven data-driven approaches, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. Want to do more with less? Managing ongoing economic headwinds and financial uncertainty while innovating for business value, all on a tight budget and keeping your team motivated can be huge tasks. And on recent surveys, cost optimization has been top of mind for the seventh year in a row, with roughly 62% of companies focused on optimizing their existing use of cloud. But identifying the sweet spot of low effort, high value actions can be tough without alignment from your team on a clear plan. Cost optimization goes beyond pricing and extends into knowing where to invest and maximize value. Involving tools and accelerators, accountability and enablement, measurement and realization, cost optimization, and planning and forecasting. And beyond that basic framework, there are three key areas for cost optimization on cloud. The first is resource optimization which can be accomplished by evaluating where you might be spending when you don't have to. Actions like identifying idle VMs and databases, right-sizing over-provisioned resources, and using auto-scaling wherever possible can be powerful steps towards reducing your cloud spend. And these actions can be a joint effort between product and engineering teams, so everyone is able to do their job as effectively as possible. The next area for cost and value optimization is optimizing your rates. Could you potentially be paying different rates for the same resources you're using? For example, with committed use discounts for your predictable workloads, you could realize a significant savings. The same goes for BigQuery reservations, where you can consolidate the analytics needs for your organization and centrally make decisions based on the data. The third is optimizing your architecture. Much like the first two areas for cost and value optimization, the third also involves a cross-team effort to align on what resources are needed and how to best set them up to increase or maintain value without necessarily increasing spend. By virtue of moving to the cloud, you can see a reduction in total cost of ownership because you're no longer managing data storage on site. And by embracing further managed services and serverless technologies, you can compound those savings and free up some of your team's time, enabling you to focus more on innovating. As you can see, there are many players that need to be involved from cross-functional teams in getting an accurate picture of your usage and determining what discounting or automation can be used to optimize performance and costs. It takes consistent, collaborative effort to have a successful cloud FinOps team who can work iteratively in three phases, inform, optimize, and operate, as quoted by FinOps Foundation. Keeping FinOps collaborative is a critical way to accomplish these goals, and using the right tools and processes to empower your teams can be a great place to start. To allow for this level of collaboration to make data-driven decisions, it takes cultural adjustments too. Aligning on labeling strategies and performance expectations are some ways to be more proactive in your approach and enable near real-time reporting. Our panelists spoke to lunch and learns, workshops, incentivized hackathons, and even regular meetings as powerful ways to support a culture of empowered collaboration and aligned efforts in FinOps. And better yet, if you're just getting started, you can design your FinOps strategy to be efficient and collaborative as you start your transformative journey with us on the cloud. To make sure your FinOps strategy is aligned with your cost and value goals, remember to evaluate your cloud strategy with the three FinOps pillars. Optimize your resources, optimize your rates, and optimize your architecture. And don't forget to account for cultural adjustments that might be needed to create an aligned environment for your teams to collaborate effectively and succeed. Then you can take action on the various areas for improvement or design a strategy that works best for you. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.